Yo, my guys, I'm back in Miami and I want to talk about the difference between the Western girls and the Eastern girls. This is a topic of conversation that I'm truly passionate about because men in today's world, especially in the West, are massively struggling to one, attract women, two, sustain these women and three, not get completely destroyed by divorces. Divorce is is destroying the modern Western man. He's losing everything he's ever worked for. He's losing half of his shit. He's losing custody to his children. He's losing too much. And I cannot see my fellow brothers in this world get absolutely dominated because they haven't been able to manage their affairs effectively. So let's talk about a few tips that you should take on board by someone like me who has traveled the world for 10 years, who has money, who has been with thousands of women and have this vast experience that I want to share with the world. I'm not boasting. I'm not sitting here with women in my videos trying to prove to you, look, I've got a bunch of girls in my life. You've seen from my Instagram, I already have that kind of shit. I don't need to prove it to you. My lifestyle on my IG, the way I look, my body, all of it should say enough. It should, it should do the talking. Anyway, I've come back to Miami. This is my home. I'm registered here. I pay my taxes in America. I got a green card here. I came, I came here two years ago. But last year, I spent a lot of time in Bucharest, Romania. Not because Andrew Tate lives there, <laughs> but because my new business partner lives there and we're building a Bitcoin investment fund. Okay? We're building a, a hedge fund with Bitcoin. So I am spending more time there because I want to be close to my partner and I want to be building this business from Romania. Why am I spending so much time in Romania? Is it just because of my business? No, not necessarily. I'm also spending a lot of time in Romania because I love the quality of women in the East. Now, on Saturday night in Miami, I went to Lenny Hochstein's party on Star Island. It's a $52 million mansion. You would have seen from my IG stories, if you follow me on IG, that I was there. There was hundreds of models, hundreds of Models. Now, Lenny Hochstein is one of the most famous plastic surgeons in the world. If you've never heard of him, Google him. Anyway, there was hundreds of models at this party. So many hot bitches, it was insane. I hit it off with a bunch of them. I think I got eight phone numbers from like super fit models that I'm speaking to, that I'm arranging dates with right now. But let me tell you something. I already know what these girls are like before I even meet up with them. I already know exactly what they're like because I'm experienced and I've dealt with these girls in the past on numerous occasions. These women are all the same, obsessed with their looks, obsessed with Instagram, obsessed with external validation, obsessed with money, and they're gold diggers. They're looking for a guy that's gonna take them out, spend all this money on buying them bags and bullshit and material stuff that they're into, spend all this money on lavish dinners, give up some sex once in a while because that's pretty much all they've got to offer. And then that's it. That's all I'm getting from these girls. All I'm going to get is some company from a hot girl, like a Barbie doll on my shoulder. Um, I, you may or may not got some, get some sex. I mean, I'm likely to because I'm young and handsome, unlike some of these older guys who are rich and saggy and probably need a lot of Viagra to get their dick hard. But Ultimately, what I'm telling you is I'm over this shit of dating these hot model girls and taking them out in Miami and spending a lot of money on them because it doesn't give me any wholesome rewards back. I mean, well, I have to pay for your company for what? Just to have a hot girl on my shoulder? Is this what the Western world has become? And you want me to take pictures of you on your IG? I don't give a shit about that. You want me to buy you stuff? I ain't buying you nothing, right? You need to give me something in return. Clean my house. Give me massages. Tell me I'm beautiful. Help me with my business. Introduce me to other people to expand my business. Add value to my life. I need people in my life to add value. If I'm going to offer you something, you need to offer me something back. That's what these Western men here are not understanding. They get nothing in return and then they get divorced and then they give half their shit away and then they're complaining. You're a fool, bro. You should have seen it a mile away. Let me finish this video off by talking a little bit more about the Eastern world and my time in Romania. Romania is absolutely lit. I don't want you guys to come there because I don't want to give the secret away. I love that place. The parties are fantastic. The women are absolutely gorgeous. Just as hot as these Miami girls. They look like models, but 
Actually, the interesting thing about Romanian girls is these hot girls that you meet, they have very small Instagram profiles. They're not like, it's not like 500K followers and all this glamour and glitz. No, they're a bit more local. You know, they, they haven't been in the scene. They don't live in Miami or New York or LA. It's Bucharest, Romania. You know, it's still like, it's not that advanced of a country. It's still a developing country. And so these girls don't have these massive Instagram pages, right? They're trying to build their life. They're trying to make ends meet. And so they respect a man who's just got a little bit and doesn't have to be a billionaire. These girls here in Miami are expecting you to be a billionaire in order to go out with them. Fuck that shit. In Bucharest, if you earn 5,000 euros a month, you're doing very well for yourself. You've got a nice apartment, you've got a nice car, and a very hot, beautiful woman is gonna respect that. On top of that, these women are very feminine, not feminist, they are feminine. There's a very big difference. These wonderful feminine women look after the house, value family, value God, value religion. They value these things that I also value. Okay, my mother is one of the most amazing women that I've ever met. And I'm looking for a woman that's like my mother and I'm more likely to find that woman in Eastern Europe, somewhere like Romania. And so I plan to spend more time there next year. I plan to spend almost the whole year in Romania next year. And I will postulate and manifest a beautiful 10 out of 10 knockout Romanian girl who is feminine, who will look after me, who will be submissive to me and who will add some sort of value to my life as I will look after her and pay for shit and make sure that she lives a wonderful life, she needs to offer me something in return. In conclusion, my friends, after traveling the world for 10 years because I became a millionaire at 27 and I had the freedom, thank you God for helping me on that journey. It wasn't only me. I learned so much about women internationally and I honestly think I'm one of the best people on the planet when it comes to understanding female psychology across different cultures. Eastern women, Eastern European women are so much better than Western women because they are still feminine and they are not feminists. There's a very big difference.